Hello, some people hope you're doing well. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create a Salesforce Partner Community account for free. By using a Partner Community account, you can basically create or publish apps on Salesforce App Exchange, which can be used or utilized to attract the customer or clients or demonstrate your app to the clients or customer. So in the long term, it will be very helpful for your business. So let, let's get straight to the point. So first of all, you have to go to the partners.salesforce.com. I will put the link in the description of the video. So here you have to click on the become a partner. And here you can see the two options. Here you have to select to the in the join the partner community. And uh, here you have to select on the get a Salesforce username. That means you have to create a new Salesforce org. You can't use your previous org in here. So you should select on this button, get a Salesforce username. And from here, you have to fill up all the blanks. Here you can see you have to give the first name, last name, email, the email you are using. Currently, I'm using a Gmail and company name and country. Finally, the username. And you have to check the box and click on the create username. After clicking on the create username, here you can see this uh, page or this landing page will be popped up to you. I have received a mail from Salesforce regarding it. Um, I have previously created because it takes time to create the org and give you mail. So I have previously created it. So whenever you apply for the community portal account, it will take time to get the mail. So have patience on that time. And I'll be selecting on the mail. And from here, I have to select on the verify account. So now it will be giving me option to put password on my org. Here you can see the org URL. So by seeing it, I can determine its uh, Salesforce Enterprise account. And the password will be hidden. I'm just putting my password. And I will just uh, test and change password. So you can see I have successfully created a org using the partner community. So before going further, I will just go to the setup and I will show you the org type. Yeah, I need to write company, so many pop-ups, company information. It's taking time. Here you can see the organization edition is enterprise edition. Also, there's another important thing. The user licenses are showing the expression date is just one year from now. So you have to keep that in mind. And this is our first step. This is done. We have created an enterprise account using the Salesforce Partner Community Portal. So the next step, I will once again go to the sales and go to the site once more. It's taking time to load and I will click on the login login button this time and this time I will click on the login with Salesforce and uh, you can see the username I've just created a few minutes back it's showing here so I will log in using this username I have just created click on the allow So what we actually did previously, we created a Salesforce Enterprise org using the partner community. And now we have logged in in the Salesforce partner community using that org credential. Now, once again, I have to select on the join the partner community button. And this time I have to select the login with Salesforce, not the get a Salesforce username. I have already got a Salesforce username. That's why this time I'll click on this link. And I'll put my password and click on the login got it and I will click allow so here you have to select whether your company is already a partner I'm assuming your company is an already a partner so I have to select that joint partner program this one 
and from here i have to select my first time i will just put hassan and i have to select the app exchange as the partner in here and be careful when you create your account you are creating for your company so you should give all the valid informations in here and i'll click on the next so this is a tricky part here you can see the email domain the gmail isn't allowed by the salesforce partner community so you have to change the gmail to i can change it to google email google email okay the gmail you have you just have to use that at google email this will bypass the salesforce validation and you can successfully create or apply for the partner community so i will now click next before clicking next i will i like to mention that if you have a company just put the company email in here that will be enough just something rather than google or gmail.com or yahoo.com just put your company email that will be good to go so after that i will click on the next and here uh, learn long terms and conditions you can read it or not i will just go through and once again i will just click agree and continue so you can see that i have successfully request for the partnership account and it will take some time to ac accept the your partnership proposal and you can just go back to your email uh, here you can see check that your request to join the salesforce committee was received so now all you have to do is wait wait for the email the next email to come so here you can see the mail already came up uh, i have welcome to the salesforce partner community actually my request for partner community account is successfully uh, activated so if now i log in i will just go once again to the partner community portal partners.salesforce.com and here i will select the login login with salesforce uh, this is the one i i have created in our first step so i will click on the login it's taking time you can see pdx that means we have successfully logged in as a partner of salesforce the site is very slow actually so this is pretty much it we have successfully logged in or i can say signed up as a partner account of salesforce i'll just uh, finish up the touch-ups you can see title mr and company as one i'll just Put random values in here and product random random save and save and next no thanks and i'll just go next go next check it out So this is it. I have successfully signed up for the partner account in Salesforce. You can just go through the tabs or explore or I assume you have some idea uh, how to publish apps or something like that. You can just always Google. Here you can see listing, marketing, package, style, templates, organization. Here you can get new listing. Here you can connect orgs. So everything is in here. So this is all from my video and I hope uh, I make the steps clear to you. Uh, still, if you have any confusions, you can put the questions or comments in the comment section of the video. Also, if you have any suggestions or something you want to see in future, you can also put in the comment section. And that's all. Hope you have a good time. Take care. Goodbye.